This is one of the projects that I think it will never finish. Cars and Bikes has been actually a huge inspiration for me since I'm a little kid. And besides all this technical, mechanical, you know, these speed thrills, you know, you get when riding fast cars or bikes. I believe there's just so much art into the construction of them. Now, the motorcycle and car industry, it's something I've been working on professionally for a lot of years now. And it was just a matter of time that my work in photography and image will just come across with this other big passion of mine, which is riding all bikes and cars. Now, when working with motorcycles, I tend to go more with digital systems just because there are a lot of restrictions, meaning that, you know, a lot of times I'm actually riding while I'm taking the photo, so I really don't have the time to set up things as I would love to when working with analog systems, for example. Now, when working with cars, I usually have more time, meaning that I can just take a couple of seconds to step back and just contemplate the car, the design, the light, the colors, everything, you know, just like to get more intentional with my work before taking the exposure. So in this video, I will just focus more on cars on film as I recently got a lot of feedback in which they believe that my photos were digitally manipulated and not straight from the negative. But if you want to check out more of my motorcycle work, you can just visit my other Instagram accounts, my other Facebook page, and you will find out so many really cool things in there. So these are some of the works in which I recently got a lot of feedback of people telling me that they weren't sure if that was just straight out of the negative. So one of the most asked questions that I got was actually how did I get these flares, you know, among the highlights, especially when the sun is hitting the metal parts. It's really no science at all. I mean, nowadays there are so many companies in which they are selling these creative filters. Price range goes from really cheap to really expensive. There are so many really cool things that nowadays they are kind of lost. I think it's really interesting, you know, when you can just come across again with some older creative filters, special effects filter, whatever you want to call it, that they were kind of forgotten. So camera-wise, I've been working more with my Mamiya RT67. The 6x7 ratio, it just works so great, especially when shooting cars, because if you think of a car, of the shape of the car in a more abstract way, it's just like this rectangular shape, kind of flat. Just working with the 6x7 ratio allows me to get better compositions, if you will. But I gotta say that recently I got a 6x6 square format for my Mamiya. And even though before I've been also working with this kind of square format, I'm just getting like the taste of it. At first feels kind of weird because now just have like this one by one ratio but yeah I think like for some kind of compositions they just work amazingly and as well sometimes when I'm on the road or like really don't feel like taking the whole equipment 
I'm been using this 645 ratio, you know, on my Fuji film. So yeah, it's a lot of fun actually. Okay guys, if you wanna see more, just go and visit my socials, my website, and I'll see you soon.